Could we prevent vision loss? There are dietary supplements that are made of the same things you can find in foods. Zeaxanthin, lutein, carotenoid, when given to people in their 60s and 70s and 80s, can dramatically reduce the risk of vision loss. So, you know, I'm a medical doctor and a, and a scientist, and I have been involved for many years trying to develop better treatments through biotech, biotechnology for diseases like cancer, complications of diabetes, and even vision loss, blindness. And we've been remarkably successful. Um, in fact, there's now 41 FDA approved treatments um, that we've been deeply involved with. And <clears throat> it's a real uh, privilege and a sort of a badge of honor to um, have contributed to new medical treatments. But uh, what got me into food was the fact that I realized that we were treating diseases um, after they had, the horse was out of the barn. And I thought there was an opportunity, a great opportunity, to be able to prevent disease in the first place. And when you're talking about prevention, you really can't talk about drugs or medicines. Expensive, they have side effects, they need a prescription, and, you know, they're, it's not as accessible worldwide. And, but what you can talk about is food, food and beverage. I'm using food sort of in a, in a sort of a big uh, uh, frame. And what's wonderful uh, in my work is that many foods, more than 200 foods, but I think first among equals, I discovered through my own research is tea. And what does tea do? Tea helps our bodies hardwired self-defenses resist disease. So our, we're, when we're born, when we are formed in our mom's wombs, the day we're born, our health defense systems hardwired are fighting to uh, for our health. They help us resist disease. And the question isn't, you know, um, why do we get a disease? It's actually, why don't we get disease more often? And the reason and the answer to that question is because our health defenses are, are really, really um, raring to go. What are those health defenses? angiogenesis, our circulation, our blood vessels, our stem cells regeneration, um, our microbiome, our healthy gut bacteria, our DNA, which also protects us from the environment, and our immune system. These are the five health defense systems that we are born with. And <clears throat> if we have environmental um, assaults from ultraviolet radiation, sunburn, uh, fumes, pollution, all these things that we're seeing radon, uh, <clears throat> All these things that can affect our health, chemicals that we inadvertently eat, um, they actually take down our health defenses. And what we're looking for, and this is really where tea comes in, are foods that we love, we enjoy, that really mean something to us because they bring us joy and pleasure and satisfaction that elevate our body's health defense systems. And tea is first among equals. I always have a cup with me when I try to go on. So uh, it's not a clear cup, but it's um, something I have literally in my sign. For vision, one of the most profound clinical studies, biggest clinical studies on food and health was run about 20 years ago, started 20 years ago by the National Eye Institute. So this is sort of the, you know, for the National Institute of Health, like a very credible group of researchers wanted to find out, could we prevent vision loss, right? Very important in an aging population, right? Because, you know, people are working at an older age now, and if you can't see, you can't work. And so your productivity and quality of life go way down. And by the way, the other reason to protect vision has to do with the fact that our eyes allow us to be independent. As we get older, we all want to be independent. We want to do our own thing. And the problem is that if you can't see, you can't be independent. You can't even take your own medicines, right? And if you, need, if you need them as an older person. So protecting vision was a big priority. So what was discovered is that there are dietary supplements that are made of the same things you can find in foods. Zeaxanthin, lutein, carotenoids. Okay, and I'll come to the foods in a second. That when given to people in their 60s and 70s and 80s can dramatically reduce the risk of vision loss from macular degeneration. Amazing, right? So here's a dietary supplement that actually works. So there's so much hubris about the salesmanship of dietary supplements. If you ever wanted to find one supplement to trust, it's the one that had the largest clinical trial to preserve your vision. It's called ARIDS, A-R-E-D-S. 
I don't get paid by any companies doing any of this stuff. I'm just telling you the facts, the data is really convincing. So ARIDS is recommended for people, frankly, over the age of 50 to take once a day in order to be able to protect their vision. But here's the thing, the stuff in ARIDS is really, you know, some vitamins, there's lutein, there's zeaxanthin. These are these chemicals that I just mentioned, zeaxanthin and the lutein. These are natural chemicals that mother late nature has laced into foods. What are some of the foods? Watercress, kale, broccoli, red bell peppers, persimmons, tomatoes. You get these same type of natural bioactives just from the foods that we can eat. So, you know, this whole idea of plant-based foods, which is a generalization, we can be more specific. Uh, carrots, kale, uh, leafy greens like watercress, those actually contribute to uh, blood vessel health for your eye to, to lower the risk that you might have blood vessels going out of control. They tame the lion. And the other thing that they actually do is they also, because you're eating them, they go into the bloodstream, they also affect your brain. They also protect and tame circulation to ensure better brain circulation as well, better blood flow to the brain. But the other thing that's really cool is that there's some evidence that's starting to develop that the, the supplements for eye disease also protect against dementia as well. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, foods are uh, really important because we can also protect the blood vessels directly. So there are foods that there's a substance in strawberries called elagic acid that we know um, actually can prevent abnormal blood vessels from growing. They're blood vessel tamers. And when you actually have elagic acid uh, from a strawberry, Elagic acid is what makes strawberries tart, okay? Um, and if you get organic strawberries, um, uh, they actually have higher levels. And the reason is because the strawberry plant naturally makes elagic acid as a response to being nibbled on by bugs in the environment. So this is mother nature's wound healing response. So when you grow naturally, the strawberry is gonna have more elagic acid. When you eat an organic strawberry grow naturally, you're gonna get more of this blood vessel protective response. Recently, it's been shown by a group at University of Cincinnati that eating just one cup of ripe strawberries per day for six weeks. This is published in a research uh, uh, journal. Actually, uh, in, in middle-aged people who uh, had mild cognitive deficits, right? Not full-blown end-stage dementia, but mild. You know, like, where are my keys? So I, I'm sorry, what is that again? You know, the, the thing that you're starting to develop the symptoms. It actually improved memory improve memory strawberries one cup against the placebo it reduced the depression and frustration of not being able to remember things okay um and it actually improved the score the cognitive executive functioning score all because of the elagic acid and another bioact that we think called anthocyanin uh, as well so again you know we're beginning to tease apart like i always tell people uh, don't worry about the chemical names. Don't worry about remembering all the details. Like people like me who study food as medicine, and I write about this in my book, let me do the heavy lifting for you. Let me tell you that what we're beginning to understand is that some specific plant-based foods are actually able to protect our blood vessel, protect our vision, and what's good for our eyes are good for our brain. So you get a twofer, a double-barreled approach to overall better quality of life and protected function.